Today on the channel, you're going to learn how to fly an RC helicopter. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to fly an RC helicopter for the first time. It is a basic tutorial. We're going to try to do this in under 10 minutes and get you up in the air. First of all, today we're using the Isheen E120. It is a super big favorite on my channel. Lots of my guys bought this one. And what's great about it is not only does it look super cool, it looks kind of like a military scale heli, but most importantly, the whole package together, it's like $79 with one battery and around $90 for the three battery combo. I would go personally with the three battery combo. That one uh, is, is great. They do get you a 15 minute flight time on that battery. It's a little tiny 1S battery and it charges by a USB cable. So um, super simple. You don't need any extra charge or anything like that. A USB cable comes in the box for charging up your battery. So let's go ahead and get started with your tutorial today. I'm going to show you outdoors how to fly this heli from the stick perspective. You'll be able to look down and see what I'm doing on the sticks. And very importantly, from a hat cam, you're going to be able to see where the heli's flying. I'm going to teach you how to fly some circuits for your first day with your E120. And we're gonna do some forward flight. So we're also gonna do some takeoff and landings in this video and hopefully get you off the ground safely and having the most fun with your E120. So today's video is all about RC helicopters. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get started with charging the battery and putting the batteries in the radio to get started. Here we go. Charging the Heli's batteries is super simple. All you have to do is look on the side for the USB port. Go ahead and plug that in. And now you are charging your Heli battery. You can see the status update on the LED right there. It'll blink all the way across until it gets to the fourth LED. And then it's gonna stop blinking and it will be full. It's neat because you can press this power button right here. Press it once and then press it again. When it's not plugged in, you can check the status of your charge on the battery. I love these little batteries, they're super cool. See it light up like that, then it shows me that it's at one bar. So I need to charge this battery and then we can go out in the field and fly. Now go ahead and grab your transmitter. We're gonna put some AA batteries in there. In the very back, just open up the battery door, put the first one in, the second one in, the third one in, the fourth one in, and put the battery cover back on and now you are all good. Another note, the way to switch this into mode one and mode two, if you have mode one, your throttle is gonna be on the right hand side. If you have mode two, the throttle will be on the left hand side. In North America, we use mode two. So if you wanna turn it on in mode two, hold down this landing button on the right hand side, turn it on, and now you will be in mode two. So now you have batteries in your radio and this battery is all charged up. And again, you can check it by pressing once and pressing again. And now you see that we have four bars, so we're ready to fly this heli. And before we go out and fly, let me show you how the battery plugs in. There are three teeth here. You wanna line up those teeth with the battery. Just go ahead and slide it in the front right there. And it's not on just yet. Turn the helicopter so it's right side up. Go ahead and press once on that battery and press again. And then you should hear it chime and start up. You'll see the light turn on and now we are on. You can take your transmitter, turn it on. While it's flashing, it's looking for a signal. So we're gonna press, gonna go ahead and put it into mode two as well. So hold that button down. It's blinking here. Press the throttle up and back down. And now we are bound to the heli and we can go fly. Okay guys, the cool thing about this heli is the fact that you can choose a place like your backyard to fly this one, a ball field or somewhere that has not a lot of trees is probably the best place to fly. Crashing a heli into trees is really not good. So we're gonna show you two perspectives today, the hat cam and we're gonna show you the controller cam so you see my thumbs and what we're doing. We're also gonna show you a few circuits to try on your very first day. We're gonna talk about nose in hovering. We're gonna talk about basic hovering and basic heli orientation. So uh, also gonna show you again how to turn it on. Just flip it over, press that button once and hold. You'll see these LEDs go all the way across and then make sure that the heli is nice and flat. Go ahead and push on the landing button here and pull it up. That's gonna put us into mode two. It's blinking, throttle up, throttle down, and now it should be active and ready to fly. Just gonna check on the bottom. We see that LED, these here on the battery, it's indeed on. So we're gonna go ahead and use our landing pad to take off now. And I highly recommend that you get a landing pad for the E120. It is super cool. I'll put a, a link in the video description for this one and for the landing pad. So let's go ahead and do our first takeoff. And we're gonna come up into a hover. 
and you will see that the optical flow on this heli actually works pretty good. So to arm the rotor, all you have to do is sticks down and out, and there we go. It has a low idle to start. When you're ready to take off, you can push the landing button, the takeoff button, or you can press up on the left-hand throttle. So we're gonna do an auto takeoff, and there we go. We just press that button right there, and we are up and running. So we're in mode one right now, and if you think that it's kind of moving around too much, put it back on the ground and land it and recalibrate it. Just a restart on the heli will recalibrate it. So if it's leaning kind of one way or the other, or it's just kind of acting weird, there's too much wind, you can land it, restart it. Right now it seems to be doing pretty good. We can bring it a little closer to the ground and you'll see it start to level out just a little bit. And really friends, like if you're flying this heli and there's a little bit of wind, you can fly it a little bit faster by putting it into mode three. If you're not gaining any ground when you're moving the sticks and the heli seems to be not responding and drifting off in one direction, put it in mode three and then you're gonna make it back. So in other words, if you have a headwind and you can't make it back, put it in mode three and it'll do a lot better. Now it seems to be leveling out quite a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and teach you your first orientation. What you wanna do first when you first take off and we're just gonna come back down to the ground here and try to land on our landing pad. That's a good thing to practice is landing on your landing pad and taking off from your pad. So we're gonna come in nice and low here. I'm just gonna do a manual landing just like that and it will power off if I hold the stick all the way down. So at this point, we wanna practice our first hover. And the way we're gonna do that is sticks down and out to arm auto take off or use the stick to come up keep the tail towards you and mine seems to be doing a little bit of drifting today so uh, mine is kind of drifting backwards a little bit and some guys want to kind of put trim into the radio generally i don't put trim into the radio but you can um, rc drones we don't use trim at all so it's kind of leaning one way or the other with this heli you can use the trim buttons forward and back if you'd like to try to get it to, to hover a little bit more proper. So the first basic hover, you wanna make sure that your heli is tail in just like this. And now what you're gonna do is keep it close to you. Right is right, as you can see on this roll right here. Right is right and left is left. Forward is forward and back is back. All on that one stick. I don't even have to touch the left stick at first when I'm learning how to hover. The most important thing about learning how to hover is keeping it in one spot. So try to hold the heli in one spot. This is your basic hover. And fighting the wind a little bit, holding it in one spot. And the next part of this tutorial is we're gonna fly side two. So you're gonna use the left stick and we're just gonna bring the tail of the heli, push your stick to the right and it should spin around. You'll see it from the side. Now, if it takes off on you, just turn it tail to you and bring it back home. So pull back on the right stick and bring it back home. Side hover, try to keep it in one spot. When you pull on the right stick here, it's going to use the right aileron. It's going to pull it towards you. And that's looking pretty good. So we got a side to hover. We're going to spin around with the yaw again, and we're going to hover from the left. Now, if you push on the, the right stick, to the left it's going to bring it back to you now we're doing a left hover side two hover so now you've done a, a, a right hand position side hover and a left hand side hover okay so we've also done a tail facing toward us hover that is a position hover and so you now now you know how two different types of hovers that you can practice and practice those a lot before you really start a lot of forward flight and you'll be a much better pilot, trust me. Now the hardest hover that you can do on an RC Heli is the nose in hover. And the nose in hover is essentially using the left stick, using the yaw, spinning that tail around towards you so that you see the cockpit windows facing you. The front of the Heli should be facing you. And we're gonna work on that hover, that nose in hover just like that. Even if it's a little bit windy, we're gonna fight that wind and keep that nose in toward us. And it doesn't have to be perfect at first. 
This is going to be a lot easier with the E120 than trying to hover a heli with no stab stability on it. This heli has stability on it, so you really don't need to be doing everything all at once. Now, if you get in trouble, remember, just go back to tail first towards you, and now everything is in perspective again as far as orientation on the sticks. Now, when you spin it around towards you, I have to explain something to you. Everything goes opposites on the controls. So my right hand thumb, left is going to be to the right, and right is going to be left. So everything's backwards. Forwards is going to be up, and back is going to be pushing towards you. So um, <laughs> that's going to take some getting used to. When you have the heli tail facing towards you, right is right and left is left. Everything is normal. But when you spin that baby around, everything is going to be backwards. So that is a big thing to practice, the nose in hover. So now we've done a few different types of hover. We've done the stationary hover, side two hover, two versions of that, and we've done the nose in hover. Now it's time to do your first circuit. And this is going to break you into flying forward flight for the first time. So we're going to bring the heli over to the right here, and we're going to go in position one. We do the same thing with drones. So we're going to hold that position, then we're going to fly over here, and we're doing an imaginary square. This is a square circuit, so this is position number two, and we're only using, mostly only using the right stick to do this. So we get in position number three over here. If I can get there, fighting the wind a little bit. If you need to bring your altitude up, go ahead and do that. Now we're going to come back to position number four in the square circuit, and we're going to stop and hover in that spot. And now we're going to come over to position number one again. So now we made our first square circuit going around to the left. You can repeat this square circuit going to the right. So using your right thumb and you can fly this whole circuit usually using one thumb. So position number two, position number three and position number four. So now you've done, let's see, let's get back over here. Position number one, there we go. And now you're ready for some circular circuits where we're going to use the yaw stick and the roll and pitch stick all at once and we're going to turn the heli's nose all the way around in a circle so the, the circle circuits are a little bit harder because you're having to do yaw and the roll at the same time so we're going to go ahead and turn the heli on we're going to come up and launch and now we're going to start into the first circular circuit now this is where you start really learning how to to fly forward and this is going to get you to flying forward flight on the heli much quicker. And you're really going to understand a lot more now that you've done the square circuits, you've done the hovering, and now you're in the, the circular circuit. This is really fun. So uh, if you want to take it a step further, you can come up and do some kind of pirouettes using the yaw stick, and that'll make the heli spin in a circle really tight. That's a lot of fun. And again, you can fly this heli indoors and outdoors. That's what I love about this heli. I would suggest starting outside first. If it gets away from you, um, you really want to try not to let it do that. Um, you want to make sure that you fly it on a, a day when there's no winds. Like today, I have a little bit of wind, so it's kind of bobbing around. It's fighting the wind a lot, but the gyro is handling it. And again, I'm in speed mode number three, so it cuts through the wind better in speed number three. Okay, so now we're, you're, you're ready at this point. We've done our circle circuits. We've done all of our different circuits. You can get into forward flight, and now you can just kind of freestyle and fly around your yard and try to avoid things. Um, heli blades and solid objects are not friends. But I love the way this heli looks. It is a huge crowd favorite on my channel, and it has a long flight time, around a 15-minute flight time. So if I went past, also if I went past the 10 minute mark on this video, I am sorry, but I uh, wanted to bring you all the information that I could uh, for today's tutorial and really get you guys started for your first day with your RC helicopter. And, and again, I, I think the Ishin E120 is probably one of the most popular and best RC helis out there right now that you can get that is uh, ready to fly one. At around $79, it's not bad. If I were you, I'd pick up the three battery version that's definitely going to be the best one. And it just really looks cool just sitting on the shelf inside in your RC collection. Uh, a, lot, a lot of guys are loving this one. It is super cool. So I appreciate you watching my How to Fly a RC Heli video. 
if you want to come back for more tutorials on my channel drone camps is all about teaching the new guys beginner rc flying and reviews tutorials all kinds of cool things on the channel please do subscribe guys this has been the eshin one e120 how to fly rc heli tutorial I'll see you on the next one